Hi everybody, um, we're back again and we're still looking at filters using the Chasimba Rapid Application Development Framework which is used to build e-learning applications and blogs and other all, all, lots of other different kinds of um, sites and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use a really neat little filter that inserts a colored box. So I'm going to log in, the Keats my one letter password since this is running on my local machine and as soon as the login is finished uh, you can see the video here from the previous one that we did uh, what I'm going to do now is write a new post and I'm going to use a color box let me just stretch the screen out a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing uh, I'm going to call this one using the color box and we'll leave everything at the default we're not interested in those things I have some lorem epsom text which I'm going to just use uh, by way of illustration so I'll copy some of that text I got it from lorem epsom .net. Um, and we'll paste this in here and perhaps we'll make a heading for the for the page so we'll stick a heading stick some text in there and make a heading out of it let's give it heading one okay so now we can use color boxes for all sorts of things you might use it to offset something you might use it uh, to insert a quotation so perhaps we could say professor lorem Ipsum has this to say. Um, you can either insert a, 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 par a new paragraph or just a line that's enter or shift enter. Um, since the color box tends to have extra space around it, I would just use a shift enter and type the word color box in square brackets. Color box colon. Now you have to specify the box type. And that's done with a lowercase box type equals. And then there's a number of different color boxes that you can use. Yellow, red, blue, gray, and so on. So I'm going to use a yellow box for this one. So I type yellow, yellow box, and close the square bracket. Now there's no spaces in here anywhere. Uh, if you put a space in there, what happens is behind the scenes, the browser inserts a, a special character for a space and the things that you have uh, written will be broken. So no spaces anywhere in the color box tab. Some text and slash color box. And save it. And as soon as it's saved, if I've done it right, you should see the effect of the color box. So here we go. We have the text in a yellow box. Pretty cool, huh? Saves you having to do all sorts of formatting and making your text into images and all kinds of things that you might otherwise want to do to it. Let's, uh, let's do another one. Uh, we're going to edit this page. And then we're going to say, on the other hand, Professor Volupat, all nonsense words, claims, oops, let's do color box, box type equals blue box. And let's put some more of my lorem ipsum text in there. So we're just going to grab some text, copy it, go back here, paste it, slash color box. It would help if I could type. And, and so the, oh gosh, the conclusion is a 
and that's our blog post and we might as well put in some keywords model I'm just copying random words from Laura Mipsum. And of course we need to give it a license. Always give it a license. I prefer the attribution share alike license. That's it. Then we can save. And as it saves, now you can see you've got a blue box. And so you can you can use this to insert different kinds of text to offset something, to put an image inside a box. Uh, there are lots of different ways that you can use this uh, this approach and I find the color box quite useful myself and uh, I use it quite a lot for all sorts of things uh, and uh, we'll see some other uses of it you can use it in collaboration with other filters so that you can start a color box and then have another filter inside of it um, and that uh, creates even more interesting possibilities so that's the uh, that's the color box. There are a number of different uh, kinds of color boxes, and they're all documented in the uh, filters manual in the section that deals with uh, color boxes. Uh, perhaps there's one. Perhaps there's one that uh, I might just introduce you to other, that is different from those two. And uh, let's see. Let's look at. I just need to get the the. the the format for the filter because I actually can't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm opening OpenOffice and uh, I'm going to search for uh, color box. Um, in here you see some of the the different colors of uh, boxes that you can have. You can see yellow box, green box, orange box, blue box, pink box, red box, purple box, gray box, BW box. That's the one I want. BW box. Black border, white text inside, and then WB box, which is a white border with black uh, inside with white text. Okay, so let's do a uh, BW box test. Okay, so let's grab some of our lorem epsom text again. Some just some random text, just to put in here. Here's some random text. And what have I done now? Well, paste. Okay, here's some random text. Uh, sometimes uh, when I'm recording a video inside this application the um, browser kind of stalls for a minute. Uh, so let's do this color box. Oops. Has to be uppercase. Color box. Box type equals WB box. And then let's get some more text. And let's just paste it in here. And let's rather eliminate the blank line because of the fact that color box has its own space. Okay, what did I do wrong there? Color box, box type equals WB box. Ah, I didn't close the end of the color box. You see, got to be careful about stuff like that, otherwise things will go wrong, as they inevitably do. But the great thing about computers, you just click the edit button and you can go back and undo your mistake. And when it saves, we will have a black box with white text inside. How cute is that? Okay, it's not rocket science, but it is a very useful filter. I find it so anyway. That's it. That's all for now. Enjoy playing with Chisimba, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another filter for you. And as usual, this video is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike license. Bye for now.